Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our preview for This Is Us Season 6, Episode 7. Okay, let's let's just start with the bad news here. There is no new episode of This Is Us on this week. It's because of the State of the Union. It's not because of, like, NBC <laughs> doing something to, like, try to screw everybody over mm -hmm. here. The good news is this. After we get past this hiatus, there will be, pending some sort of last second tragic scheduling change here there will be a new episode every week until the show ends currently set for may 24th so okay we have a lot to look forward to here but before we get into it make sure you hit that subscribe button we're gonna be here every single week talking about this is us and i just want to say thank you to everyone for all the birthday wishes yeah. yesterday was my birthday and you guys are really great you've been sending me lots of messages on social media and here on youtube and over on our instagram and thank you to everyone who did follow my instagram and matt's yeah. instagram matt and jess tv as my birthday gift that was very sweet and we both really appreciate it thank you thank you guys very much and you know there's there's something that we love to do here at this channel that we haven't done in a little while mm -hmm. and that is a sub celebration of an unsung hero for this is us and that is our boy miguel miguel miguel, miguel. miguel. finally okay so let's go back into the past yes Beep, 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 beep. Okay, so we are back in the past, and right. there is a very important moment coming here, and this is all about Thanksgiving, it seems. So in the past, we know that Rebecca has Matt with her, everyone's going to be gathering, Miguel's going to be coming, he's going to be bringing his woman, allegedly, we haven't seen yeah. her yet. But there is a moment in this promo that's very <laughs> like, I don't know, like maybe they've shared a kiss or maybe they're, he's told her, you know, how he feels. I don't know what it is, but there is a moment between them that is so chemistry and intense where it's like, they realize that there's something there, but you know, it's maybe too soon. Love's about timing, right? Maybe they're both going for the like the spoon for the mashed potatoes at the same time and they like touch hands in the process of doing it and then they're like, dude, this is the moment. Now I they there's been enough established in the timeline here of this is us that you know there's something that happens with Rebecca and Miguel. I you know, we know that they end up getting together down the road, but there's something that happens, and I think They've said, the writers have, that this is going to be the season where we're finally going to get some answers, and we sure better because there's not another season after this. So this has to <laughs> be the opportunity. I'm just being truthful here, and I, I feel like this is going to be a big stepping stone for their relationship in this episode. No, I agree, but... Back in the present, there's yeah. a lot that's going on here as well. It looks like we're going to have more problems between Kate and Toby. She mentions sort of, it looks like there's a little bit of tension going on. She mentions, you know, are you worried that our son is going to get fat in front of everybody? Yeah. Which feels like a conversation that might be better in private, but we don't know exactly how much he said before then that is he's already put it out in public. It's just a promo, so we don't know yet. Yeah, and we already do know that they are not really connected all that well at this point. And I think because their relationship is sort of so tenuous, and like you said, we don't know what was said leading up to this, no. I think they may just be at a point where they're ready to have a confrontation one way or another at just about any given moment here. And like my worst fear, and I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily believe this. I don't think it's going to happen so soon, but you know, people love the smoke meat around Thanksgiving. People love the, I don't think we're at the smoker oh, incident no. yet, but I think that we have to no, be no, aware no. that it's coming. No, 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 no. We can't be there yet. They're all at the cabin. The, the smoker's got, to be at Kate and Toby's house, please. I am I, not ready for that. Uh, I don't. I don't think that's actually happening <laughs> yet. To be fair, but I just it, it, like it did come into my head. This show has made me so paranoid that like I am worried about every single terrible thing that they are going to do to us before this show ends. Now, there's one other thing that I 
think the show is going to do this. We had this whole sort of Rebecca being like, okay, listen, we're all together. We need to have a talk. And she's got this book in front of her. And, you know, there's been a lot of theories online of what that could be. And I've got my own theory and it could be wrong. I just had like a big L on Snowfall with like a theory that was really wrong. But this is just going from my own experience. If you guys have been here a little while, you know that my grandmother had Alzheimer's as well. And so one of the things that she did, which kind of looks like what's going on here, is she's got five kids, which is a lot. And they were spread out all over the place as well. So instead of when she found out that she had Alzheimer's and she was losing her memory, instead of calling everybody up and then it ended up being like a broken telephone she had everybody together at the same time for some holiday or something where the grandkids weren't really a part of any of this we were all told about it later yeah where she sat down with her kids and was like listen this is what's happening i'm of sound mind right now we need to talk about my will we need to talk about my estate and mostly we need to talk about my power of attorney and which one of you kids is going to be it because like for my grandma she didn't make it my grandfather he was the same age she picked one of her kids to be able to do it and i feel like it's kind of going in that direction as well my grandmother also like this is just the side but it was mm -hmm. wonderful she actually while still of sam mind after that wrote letters to all her children and all her grandchildren to be given to us after she passed and that's such a that's such a beautiful thing and i and i feel my like my grandmother was an angel she really she really really was yeah she was i you know i i don't have the same sort of background in alzheimer's that you have and i when watching the promo i didn't necessarily like come up with a sort of singular theory but the more that i hear you sort of talk about it like this is just the thing that makes the most sense like this is not something we tend to see a lot of on tv shows in general it's something that happens no. all the time in real life and yeah they i don't know where you're gonna have another instance of everyone together at that specific point and you can't predict it and like you said this is not something i think you want to talk about on the phone with a lot of people especially since you know everybody's obviously going to have their own opinions on it yeah and i think it for a situation like this having all three kids in the room together at the same time to hear the exact same words makes it that there will be a lot less infighting later on where mm -hmm. if she decides say kate is gonna be the power of attorney for her and she's gonna say that to everyone to be like once i'm no longer of sound mind uh kate is gonna be the person who's going to take care of my affairs for me they can all have it out while she's still there instead of well, mom didn't tell me that. She told mm -hmm. you that. So how do I know that what you're saying is true? Oh, well, here's the paperwork. Okay, but maybe she wasn't in her right mind when she told you that. It turns into that. And I think Rebecca's just the sort of person who I think she wants to be prepared. And I think she also wants her kids to have an element of peace. And I think she doesn't want an instance down the road where, you know, the big three are all going to be fighting amongst mm -hmm. themselves to sort of figure out how all of that works. So I, I think this fundamentally just makes the most sense for where we're going with the Rebecca story. It's yeah. not going to be easy to watch just because most of the Rebecca storyline in the present, unfortunately, is not easy to watch. No, it's really hard. And I mean, we've seen uh, other shows tackle Alzheimer's before, and mostly it's about the loss of the memory. And that's the big focus of it understandably so but moments like this or potentially like this maybe i'll be taking another l on this and it's not actually about that but moments like this are things that you do not see really on tv anywhere no. which is you know a very hard difficult conversation that happens in families when this stuff is coming up and I would love to see this show in particular tackle something like that to show us how hard that conversation is going to be. Because if if she picks someone like Kate, 
Rendell is not going to be happy about it. It is Probably going not. to be difficult. It's going to be difficult on Kevin as well. I mean, he may want to be the person that's like, hey, you know, I really feel I'm in a good position to be able to help. He probably would, but I, I think Kate may very well be the best person in this sort of situation. And it also seems like there's some momentum at the moment behind it. And I hope we get this in this episode. I, I, I believe in your theory. I hope that it works out. And the I need a win. Okay, the, the <laughs> listen. Not the, your your theory has a better chance of coming true than the sort of the theory I have. Not so much about that scene, but about the sort of long game here. Is that. I think this may be the episode where we figure out what happens with Miguel in the future because we have so much Miguel in the past. We've been sort of building towards this. We have no idea where he is or what he's doing. Oh. My my fear is obviously that he's no longer with them and that's what makes, you know, makes it even more imperative that she's staying with Kevin at his, you know, big family compound that he's working to build. Yeah, I that's the thing. I mean, they've said that there's going to be more than one death and if Rebecca goes, I mean, I'm, uh, I don't want it to be true. I'm, just, I'm worried. I'm no, worried. No, I'm I I don't think he's there. Well, we'll get our answer soon, and hopefully there will be a number of just happy, touching, beautiful moments to make up for all the just sadness and or tears we're going to have in this episode. But of course, we will be here after it airs to break it all down, share some more theories. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you here next time.